Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 7th through the 13th of May, 2023. Hope you guys are doing well. I do want to take a quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there, so do take what resonates for you and just leave the rest for another Capricorn. Also, guys, keep in mind that the energy can reverse or flip-flop, and that's not unusual in a general reading. Please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is not designed for you. All right, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, you are starting out with the Six of Cups. You have the Five of Wands reversed, and you have the Magician. Okay, so some of you guys might be trying to bring someone from your past back. You're, you're trying to manifest this person. You're in a very um, deep manifestational um, energy right now. I do see that there is either a conflict that's ending or you want to end. I feel like you're trying to end a conflict with someone from your past. But there's, you have love for someone here, and I feel like you're trying to manifest them back into your life or manifest an ending to conflict with this person. So let's see who's in your energy. Spirit, show me who is in Capricorn's energy. All right, the person in your energy, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And coming out together, we have the Eight of Cups reverse along with the Three of Swords. Okay. So this person's feeling very um, abandoned or rejected. I do feel that they're not currently, there's no communication. They're not speaking with you right now. But I'm going to tell you that this person, while they are very hurt, they're heartbroken. In fact, they haven't emotionally remove themselves from this connection. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Okay. Yeah, you love this person. You you're you have a um a love for this person. This person is well for one they're thinking about their money right now. I will tell you that, but this person is looking at you as long term. You could be dealing with a water sign. That would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But there is a lot of love here. And this love could go the distance, too. Let's see what's affecting this connection. I feel like you're more in the moment. And they, they're thinking longer term. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, an argument that has occurred. An argument, a conflict. Um, I don't think that there's communication right now. You're both holding back from communicating to each other. You both want to communicate. They really want to communicate. You'd like to end this conflict. Um, let's see what your outcome is. Show me the outcome at the end of the week. Ten of Swords. All right, don't panic. All right, so the Ten of Swords has to do with a painful ending. However, it could be an explanation because I can see that it looks like there's already been an ending here um, for most of you anyway. Now, it it could be, though, that this has not currently occurred yet. And there could be some truth that's going to come out. So we'll clarify it. Um, bottom of the deck is the world. Now, that is underlying energy, and it indicates to me that there's an ending of some sort of cycle here. And that after that ending of that cycle, something new is going to begin. Um, for some of you, I am seeing that you're manifesting something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. We'll clarify, but you don't want to fight with this person for sure. So you might be keeping things to yourself. And that could lead to that painful ending. Let's let's uh, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here for Capricorn? Okay, so you're making a decision about someone from your past, someone or something from your past. There is love here. 
Oh, but some of you might be giving your attention to more than one person or you feel that this person has. You might feel this person has been breadcrumbing you. I see you making a decision though. There's a decision about someone or something from your past. We have the Fool, sign of Aries, and we have the King of Swords in reverse. So I can see there was conflict and anger and this has to do with, with you taking a risk, taking a risk into a new beginning. I mean, it's almost looking like Capricorn that you may have met somebody else and you really don't want to fight with this person. You feel that they're very angry when in reality, they're actually very hurt. But it has to do with a new beginning. Why is the magician here? You're manifesting healing and the wheel of fortune. So you've manifested something that you feel is faded. Some of you guys may have met someone else and you, you're having a difficult time letting this person know. I do see things moving in your favor and I see healing taking place, healing and balancing. But I, some of you have manifested a destined connection and you've been guided towards this let's look at their energy why is the five of pentacles here yeah so this was a committed relationship this is a committed relationship that that has ended this person is feeling very rejected very hurt why is the Knight of Wands here? They still want the commitment. The two of you are not seeing eye to eye currently. It caused a tower moment for them. We have Gemini here. We have Taurus. You both have the Five of Wands in reverse. You both don't want to fight about this. You're both kind of holding back, saying some things. But this person's going through a tower moment. It's like their whole world has been upended when, when the two of you broke up. I feel like you you began something new here, but you feel that this is a destined connection. Let me look at the uh, last energy. This person feels that they are your perfect partner, that they're the person you should be with. Nine of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords. They're going to tell you that. And the King of Cups. Yeah, they're they're kind of watching you right now. They're, they're going to come forward. There's going to be communication here. They want clarity and truth in the situation. They haven't walked away from you, not emotionally anyway. And I feel like they are very hurt. They think about giving up on the situation. And I think they want clarity as to whether they should give up on this. So I feel like Capricorn, some of you guys met someone else and you feel that this is a faded connection that with someone new. There was a breakup here because you made a decision about your past person, and that would be this person. You went in a different direction, it looks like, and they they want clarification. They want truth. Um, let's see the energy between the two of you. more card please show me the energy between these two thank you page of cups reversed the strength card in reverse yeah ace of wands yeah so Capricorn, you have a new beginning here and this is somebody that you love now I do feel that you have love for this person too, but I feel like you, 
you've kind of, um, you've made a decision here. And I'm seeing that both of you are holding back. You're both holding back emotionally from each other. I'm seeing that there's not communication right now, or if there is, there's a lot going unsaid. And I feel like this person feels that the connection, um, they fear, there, there's fear involved with this. See, they were considering this connection to be long-term. And now this has brought up, this breakup has caused a lot of fear. It's caused a lot of um, re feelings of rejection and feelings of abandonment. So they're, they're definitely holding back as well. Let's see, why the Knight of Swords is in reverse. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? They may feel that you lied to them. And they, if that's the case, they want the truth. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you, you have a new beginning in love. And it's made this person angry, upset. There could have been an argument. I do feel like the conflict is going to end. This person still wants to be with you, though. And I do feel like they're going to they're gonna come forward with that offer of love. Let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Queen of Swords reversed. Yeah, there's two queens here. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Wands. So Capricorn, they're definitely coming forward. They've been watching you. Um... They have feelings for you. They feel that you are their their person, their perfect person. I feel like they felt like you weren't honest with them, that you weren't on the up and up, and they want the truth. So they're going to approach you, but ultimately what they want, and they may not be telling you this, they want to end the conflict between the two of you, and they want you to accept love from them. But I feel that you made a decision about this past person, and I feel like you may have been juggling. Some of you were juggling this person and someone else, and I feel that there, um, there's a new beginning. You're taking a risk with a new beginning in love. So while you may not be speaking with this person or things are going unsaid, they love you, but I feel like you, you've moved in another direction. And the direction that you're moving in is actually, it's a faded connection. It is going to cause anger, though. It is going to cause anger. And the thing is, you manifested this person. And you have been guided towards this person. Now, it's going to cause anger here. I can see that. Because this person's feeling, the person in your past is feeling cut out. They're feeling cut out of the situation, but you're feeling more in charge of your life and more balanced and like things are moving in a happier direction. They feel cut out. They may say some things that's going to make you feel angry, and I am seeing a painful ending coming. Um, and according to the cards, this person is actually a karmic. They're... Yeah, they actually are a karmic. Um, they're going to approach you. They're going to be flirtatious. They have feelings for you, and they haven't fully emotionally let go. And I do see it leading to a big conversation. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Underlying energy. And that's a stable new beginning that's happening. So you're closing out a cycle with this person from the past. And you are moving towards a, a destined connection that you actually have been led towards. So I just don't think the person in your energy here is going to handle it very well. Let's pull some tea leaf cards. Yeah, you have teardrops. Great personal sorrow. So I do feel that, you know, this isn't an easy, it wasn't an easy decision necessarily for you. Your person has fly, a period of ill health or depression. And 
And for the connection, we have ant, work, achievement, success. So some of you might be putting your energy into work. Maybe both of you are um, receiving um, success in those areas. But this is going to be something that you're going to have to work at to resolve the conflict here in the best possible manner. I'm going to pull a fortune cookie for you just because. Let's see what you got. It says challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. And that's really good advice. Because I can see that this isn't easy for you either, Capricorn, but you do have good things that are coming. The challenge is resolving this in the best possible manner so that things don't get worse. Because I can see you don't want conflict with this person either. It's, it's causing you some heartbreak as well. Because I don't feel like you want to hurt this person, but you've made a decision here. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Capricorn. Um, if you have resonated with this in any way, please hit that like button. And also, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate that. And until I see you guys in the next weekly reading, namaste.